Today's Bible study is titled Walk in the Spirit. In our last time together, Paul completed three mentions to the Galatian believers and us regarding love not law, example, living out our calling of liberty and freedom and love and putting the law in its dispensational place. He ended with for all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Galatians 5 verse 14 Today, he continues, But if ye bite and devour one another, take heed that ye be not consumed one of another. This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Galatians 5 verses 15 to 18. Let's break this down. After having noted that love thy neighbor as thyself was the complete fulfillment of the law, Paul cautions the Galatians that the influence of those of the circumcision and their message of law would only cause issues in their fellowship. He did so stating, But if ye bite and devour one another, take heed that ye be not consumed one of another. And these types of issues continue in churches to this day as they seek to live under the gospel of the kingdom and its leaning toward law. The Galatians, no doubt, were seeking to live under the law to curb the sins of the flesh. But Paul says that the remedy for the lusts of the flesh is not to try and walk in law but rather in the spirit. Paul notes, This I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. And with this said, Paul is going to explain this in detail, and the explanation he offers is for the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. All believers have dealt with this as they grow in grace. And if they are under kingdom gospel teaching with its law leanings, it will take much longer as growing in grace is hampered by such. In fact, trying to live under the law literally paints a target on the very sins that believers seek to avoid. Wrapping it up, Paul clearly shows, But if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law, and seeking to live under the law as opposed to being led of the Spirit are contrary to one another as the former is a work of the flesh and the latter is a complete reliance on the Spirit to produce the fruit of the Spirit. Believer, you cannot walk in the rightly divided truth until you first rest in that truth. Walk in the Spirit by believing and resting in the rightly divided truth of the message Christ gave Paul to give to believers and the walk in the Spirit will come from the overflow of your rested belief. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.